Hello everyone. This is the Dux Tool Changer. In this video, I will be showcasing the intelligent crash detection and recovery mechanism that has been built into the Tool Changer. Now there are three ways a print can fail in a Tool Changer of this kind. Number one is if the tool head that is attached to the carriage drops off. In that scenario, the intelligent uh, crash detection will detect that the tool has dropped off and pause the print, allowing you to actually put it back and resume the print. So let's look at how that works. So let's say the tool actually drops off. Now you see the tool changer status has changed with the red lights indicating a failure and the error tool head being blinking with the status LED. Now if I was to put it back and attach it back, the tool changer senses uh, that the tool has been attached back and it um, is ready to resume the print. The second mode of failure can be when it, when the tool actually uh, is not docked correctly on one of the docking stations. So in that scenario also, let's say if I was to dock this tool and it falls off or does not dock properly, again, the tool changer senses that uh, the tool hasn't docked properly. It pauses and starts blinking the error tool um, letting you know which tool essentially is the one that is not docked properly. So once you replace it back, again, the tool changer senses that and is ready to print. The third mode of failure is if there's a filament jam in um, the active tool and uh, the filament stops extruding. So to handle that, we have five silver filament sensors, one for each tool uh, on the outside uh, uh, back of the uh, tool changer. And each of these filament spools is running through um, the respective filament sensors. So in case of a jam, this is the BTT Smart Filament Sensor version two, which allows you to detect both the runtime, uh, the run out, as well as uh, the filament jam. So in that scenario, again, the tool changer will pause and uh, let you know uh, with the blinking LEDs that uh, there is an error with the uh, filament jam. There was also be a message that actually comes up on, um, on the display that will let you know um, the same thing. So once you resolve that jam by um, uh, removing the filament um, and then putting it back, the, you can resume the print. And, um, and carry on printing. So um, I, I've tested the filament run out as well as um, the, the tool head um, um, errors um, in, in, in real prints and, and they've worked uh, perfectly fine while resuming prints. So um, I hope you guys uh, like the, um, the demonstration here and uh, the files for this tool changer, Daksh V2, are up on GitHub. Please um, go ahead and take a look at that. And uh, if you want to adapt this to your uh, own Core XY printer, um, please feel free to do so. Um, thank you for uh, watching this. And please stay tuned for uh, more videos around uh, the other innovative features that have been implemented in this tool changer. Thank you.